not going to say. Well, how about I help you? I'll start my opening bid for those clicks at five thousand dollars. Hey, the standard stand. Can't hide money. Oh my goodness! Wow. The standard is set. I'm out about. That's yeah. money. Hey, I'm out. They don't pay me enough. <laughs> Wow, that's awesome. Okay, that was this Thursday. A week from tonight is absolute must-watch NFL TV. Chargers, Chiefs, likely for the division championship out in the AFC West. Arrowhead Stadium is the site. NFL game day kickoff gets you set for the pregame show at 6 o'clock. 8 o'clock is kick right here on NFL Network, Fox, and streaming on Prime Video. But I have David here because no one looks ahead in the NFL. Chargers and the Chiefs yeah, sure. aren't looking ahead to Thursday night football. They right. have business to take care of this Sunday. For the Chiefs, it's a matchup against the number one defense in the NFL, the Baltimore Ravens. Strength on strength here. Uh, we think it'll be Lamar Jackson quarterbacking, even though Flacco's getting a little bit better. So let's go with that premise. Yeah. Who has a better day, Mahomes passing or Lamar Jackson running? No, it's, it's easy to kind of see the Chiefs on defense and say you have the ability to run the football here. Lamar Jackson has done a good job, exactly, the last couple of weeks of running the football, even when teams know he's going to. But I really lean towards Patrick Mahomes here, and it's based on what I saw. And I'll show you guys, but I was here in Oakland watching this football game, and some of the throws that he makes on the run and the, the ability to stretch the football down the field, I've never seen it. Wow. I, I literally have never wow. seen it. I watched him throw at the Combine. But there's, there's times where the Raiders are in position to make plays and they break on the ball and it's just they're not able to break on it because the ball gets there with such velocity. This throw right here that he made on the run. I mean, Reggie Nelson thought he had a pick. And Travis Kelsey, the ball carries 10 yards farther than he thought it did. So for me, it, it's definitely Patrick Mahomes. He has the edge. They're going to lean on him more now with Kareem Hunt not being there. And he's, he's an incredible football player. This guy was the number one overall pick in the draft. He has a Super Bowl ring at home as well. He's seen dozens and dozens of NFL quarterbacks. Yeah. And you're saying you've never seen was, anything it was, like it. It was really shocking to see it in person against NFL players that are out there. And I know the Raiders are having, they're struggling, but it was, it was really incredible. Wow. All right, let's flip over to the Chargers now. They have the Cincinnati Bengals. They're heavily favored in this game as well. Phillip Rivers didn't get off to a fast start last week right. against Pittsburgh. What has we got to do to do that this week? Well, quickly, I think they got out of their rhythm a little bit. They got down early. They were down 13 nothing. They were kind of climbing back, so Phillip had to make some more plays. But what he does is very similar to what Patrick Mahomes can do. Push the ball down the field, but he does it with incredible accuracy. I mean, just incredible accuracy. So right here, they're going to make a double move. they got an out-and-up wheel. He's moving to his left. He still is able to get the safety to bite on the in route coming on the inside and still make this throw. Now, this is not easy. You're moving to your left, set your feet, back across the field, mm. right on the money. I mean, this is a great football hey. play, great throw, great play design. He does this all the time. This one really stood out to me. In the pocket, he's sliding around. He, ha he feels like there's a window. I mean, that window is not tight. Guys, don't make this throw. He does. He feels like he can get it up over the linebacker inside the other. There's four defenders there. Phillips not afraid to make these throws, so you can understand why the Chargers continue to throw the football because a guy like this, if he can make throws like that, why wouldn't you call pass plays every yeah. time? So Ph Phillips seems reborn this year. Yeah, he's, he's always been great. Well, but, but that but run he's... game has been really key for them. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bengals aren't very good on defense, so I think that they go chop them up pretty good. Okay, Chargers and the Chiefs can both clinch playoff spots this week, but the division will still be in play a week from tonight on Thursday Night Football. Lindsay? Should be some lovely weather here in L.A. for that Chargers game this week, Scott, which the Rams should probably not think about as they take the field in the freezing <laughs> cold conditions that are waiting for them in Chicago. It is expected to be 30 degrees at kickoff with a feels-like temperature of 25. Reggie Bush, you